As a small child, Lee loved stories of pirates. He also loved the ocean and dreamed of finding sunken treasure. He never let go of his dreams, and he went on to become one of the true pioneers of underwater archaeology. His work has been funded by the National Science Foundation and the National Endowment for the Humanities, as well by colleges and universities. He has researched and discovered a wide variety of wrecks, ranging from Spanish galleons to 19th century steamers. Dr. Spence's discoveries include the wrecks of the Civil War submarine Hunley, the Confederate cruiser Georgiana, the Spanish pirate ship Diamond, and a great many others. He accomplished all of this by following his dreams, setting goals, and never giving up. Dr. Spence has been making the news ever since he was a teenager. Over the years, his many discoveries have been written up in over a thousand different periodicals around the world. They range from newswire stories to feature articles. As an editor and publisher of numerous magazines on shipwrecks, diving, and treasure, Spence has rightfully earned a reputation as an expert on sunken ships. Dr. Spence has donated or loaned many thousands of artifacts to museums in various states and countries. His largest single donation, made at the request of the South Carolina Hunley Commission, was his rights to the wreck of the Civil War submarine Hunley, which has been valued at over $20 million. Spence's work and discoveries have been recorded for posterity in books by authors and historians. He has thus become a permanent part of the history of shipwrecks and treasure. Now 66, he has been researching, finding, and salvaging shipwrecks for well over 50 years. But he is not through yet. Earlier this year, Dr. Spence announced his discovery of two more historic wrecks, the SS Ozama and the SS United States. Lee Spence is convinced his most important legacy will not be the shipwrecks he has found or the artifacts and treasure he has salvaged, but rather the history he has uncovered and helped preserve.